Is the zero guard buzz cut addictive? Yes, is the answer. Yes, it is addictive to have the zero guard buzz cut. Uh, someone had, had asked me that and I hadn't really thought about it, but yeah, I mean, I think I'm proving that, right? We're pushing a month now of me doing the zero guard buzz cut. I don't like the number one guard buzz cut. In fact, you know, in a, here in a few more days, I'll be doing it again uh, because it's been like four or five days since I've done it. Uh, and probably part of the only reason I feel this good about it even now is because my beard's so thick. Uh, but man, I tell you, the zero guard buzz cut is addictive and I needed to make this video to acknowledge that. Zero guard buzz cut is addictive. So maybe I should, in this video, which I have not rehearsed for, I should sort out why is the zero guard buzz cut addictive. I think for me, immediately, is because it forces you to reinvent yourself and that needs to make, I need to make a separate video for that now. So I just invented that on the spot. I'll make another video for that. But, so it totally rebrands your image, but in a way that is very masculine, edgy, but still trendy. And at the same time, it's just so clean and neat. I love not having hair going over my ears. I love not having, being able to really see my skin uh, shine through my hair because the hair is so short. I love the concept of having stubble because zero guard isn't a smooth shave. Zero guard having stubble to match stubble on my face. It's very, I look like a very tough guy, you know? It, it only enhances the perception of masculinity when a man does a zero guard buzz cut. I just only see advantages uh, of, of this. So I make this video to tell you this. If, you're, if, you're, if your receding hairline bothers you and you're thinking, man, I think I just want to buzz it off, maybe a number two, maybe a number one, I'd say do it. But I will say, it's not the same as a zero guard. Zero guard is a completely different level because it leaves so little hair that it really hypes up the masculine identity. And ultimately, isn't that what you're kind of here for anyway? As far as your, your identity, your self-esteem is being attacked as your hairline's going back. It's your, your, your sense of who you are is changing physically. So what if you make a dynamic change to match what's going on? The zero guard is the change that a number one or a number two guard just can't quite do, especially if you grow the beard scruff. So, fair warning, if you do a zero guard buzz cut, expect for it to be addictive and expect you, when people ask you, so when do you plan to grow your hair back out? Expect to say, why would I ever grow it back out? 